If you are currently trying to lose fat and you still want to go out to eat in a restaurant, here are my top tips on how you can lose the weight, maintain the weight without basically eating the really boring food. First tip is don't order anything that you really don't want to eat. That includes the boring foods like spinach salad with balsamic dressing and olive oil. If you don't kind of curb that mental hunger and that, that craving you have for, let's say, the pasta, it's gonna come back to haunt you because you may overeat on that food later on in the day, maybe later on in the week. You have your delicious meal in front of you. Next tip would be to ask for a to-go box right away so that you can portion out a serving for yourself right now during the dinner and then you can save another portion for later on in the week for yourself. This will help obviously portion size and it will help save calories. Beware of the healthy foods. So what I mean is the salads with a shit ton of dressing and a lot of, you know, uh, cheese and dairy and oils and um, croutons, a lot of added stuff that really racks up the calories. Just because something has some healthy ingredients doesn't mean that it is calorie friendly necessarily. So the next thing I would say is to look ahead at the menu. I would look and scope out what I would like to eat and see if it's, you know, somewhat calorie friendly and you'll surprise yourself. Sometimes a chicken burger can have less calories than a Caesar salad. It's crazy. Bigger name restaurants will likely have the calories listed on their menus, but if it's more like a family owned business, then they likely maybe not have the calories there for you. But I would choose a similar option to something that is in you know a larger chain restaurant and just estimate the amount of protein, carbs, fat, calories. For example, if you want to get like a stir fry of some sort, uh, look up and Google the nutritional information for a similar item on another menu from a larger chain restaurant. And that will give you a better approximation because having a approximation is better than not having one. I want you to remember just because you're ordering something maybe a little unhealthy, that doesn't mean you're screwed and your progress is screwed. It's only screwed if you don't go back to your regular habits the next day, the next week, the next month. Because remember, it is what you do consistently that gives you the results. If you have a meal out with your friends once in a while or your, it's your birthday or whatever, that doesn't mean it's the end all be all of your fitness journey. Again, this is about balance and having a lifestyle approach. And that's just it. Your friends are gonna ask you to go out for dinner. It's not, not gonna happen. So we might as well find ways around how we can still stick to your goals and enjoy your life. Next tip is to ask for stuff on the side. Instead of, uh, the chef dumping like a whole bunch of dressing into the salad, you know, racking up those calories like I mentioned previously. You have control over how much dressing goes in the salad and how much is left. This can also include other toppings like um, the nuts, the seeds, um, the cheeses, the parmesans, right? Anything. That's it for me, guys. I hope these tips helped you get a better understanding of how you can still go out to restaurants while on your fitness journey pursuing your goals. Make sure to click the like button if you liked it, subscribe for more, follow me on Instagram, and comment below what your favorite meal is when ordering something from a restaurant.